But let us begin this half hour with a call for urgent action this morning to stop the spread of a so-called nightmare superbug that's showing up in some hospitals. NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, has more. The CDC doesn't casually use the word nightmare, but that's exactly what they're calling CRE. A deadly bacteria, a superbug resistant to carbapenem, a potent antibiotic of last resort. 42 states, 4% of short-stay hospitals, and 18% of long-term care facilities have reported problems. So far, the infections have been contained to hospitals and nursing homes, infecting the severely ill. The fear and the challenge is to keep these bacteria from reaching the general population. It's resistant to virtually all antibiotics. The normal issue of giving someone an antibiotic and curing them becomes very difficult. And that's a real concern because the pharmaceutical industry is focusing on diseases like obesity and Alzheimer's, and there really aren't any antibiotics in the pipeline. Last year, an outbreak of CRE at the National Institutes of Health infected 18 people. Six died, and the alarm was sounded. Montefiore Medical Center in New York is testing all patients admitted to their critical care unit and isolating them from other patients. They find many hospitals regularly and unknowingly transfer infected patients into their institution. Since CRE could make common ailments like diarrhea, urinary tract infections and pneumonia untreatable, we are facing a potentially dangerous problem, but we do have a window of opportunity to contain it. For today, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, New York.